Tonight, investigators now say one of the victims of the notorious serial killer John Wayne Gacy was a man born in the Tar Heel State. And now a North Carolina family finally has closure after more than four decades of unanswered questions. Our Ryan Kruger live tonight with that story. And Ryan, did Texas, they aren't even sure when the victim was killed. Yeah, they say it was sometime likely in either 1976 or 1977. The problem is there were no missing persons reports ever filed. It's not even clear how long the victim lived in the Chicagoland area. But finally, his family has answers. They're the images that haunted the entire country. Serial killer John Wayne Gacy, nicknamed the Killer Clown, killed as many as 33 young men and boys and buried many of them in the crawl space at his suburban Chicago home. Monday morning, detectives finally identified Francis Wayne Alexander as one of those victims. It was like the typical painstaking work of finding out when Wayne was last seen, um, tax records. Um, parking tickets, that we were able to put this all together, combining it with the DNA. Alexander was born in North Carolina, but not much else is known about his life. Sometime in the mid-70s, he moved to the Chicago area. He was married for a few months. He lived in an area where Gacy was known to hunt for his victims. Investigators aren't even sure about the exact date of his killing. There's no proof of life or no proof of death after early 1976. And, and that was sort of the key. And then we knew, as the sheriff had said, the end date would be March 15, 1977, because the victim that was buried on top of him in Gacy's crawl space, uh, that was when he was last seen alive. Alexander's remains were among 26 sets that police found in the crawl space at Gacy's home. A decade ago, authorities exhumed the remains of eight victims, including Alexander's, who were unidentified at the time. Alexander was never reported missing. When we reopened the case, uh, we were not contacted by anybody, any family or friends. So uh, that's why the, the, the genetic genealogy was very important here, because we would not have known of him. A nonprofit organization called the DNA Doe Project was able to link up a DNA profile and create a family lineage using websites like Family Tree DNA. We were very fortunate in this case to be able to um, provide a lead so quickly because um, there it is a smaller pool of, um, of testers in the database at GEDmatch and in Family Tree DNA. Now, Alexander's mother is still alive, and she released a statement saying in part that her son was killed at the hands of a vile and evil man. She said their hearts are heavy with sympathies. They go out to the other victims' families. John Wayne Gacy was put to death back in 1994. Alicia. Ryan, thank you so much for that report.